Hamza Josh! Hayser! Hamza Josh! Hayser! Hamza Josh! Hi, sir. Hey folks, see you Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very interesting video which is about top 3 stocks from the defense sector. Now you might be like, why are we talking only about defense sector today? The reason is that number one, we have the second largest armed force in the world by active duty military personnel and we are at the cusp of revolution as far as this sector is concerned. Also, number two, the government has identified defense and aerospace sector as a focus area for Atma Nirbhar Bharat or Self-Reliant India Initiative. Now, you might be like, why might have government chosen this sector for the focus area? For that, have a look at this chart. Well, as per this chart, we can see that out of the total military procurement, we can see that 84% of the requirements is met by imports. In fact, if you have a look at this chart, you can see that as per an Indian Express article, India is the largest arms importer in the Indo-Pacific region. Well, now if you have understood both the charts really well, then you will understand that in the pre-bumper, when how's the Josh question was asked, I said, Hi, sir. Because our imports are really high, they are to the tune of 84% of our total requirement. Now, next thing, we have to understand 84% is how much? What figure could that be? Is that really high or not? For that, have a look at this chart. If you see, for the year 2021, India spent 76.6 US billion dollars on the defense sector. Now, this was the total spent. Of that, how much was the import bill? Import was 84%. So, if I take 76.6 billion dollars, ka 84%, that comes up to approximately 61.28 billion US billion dollars, right? Now, again, question is, okay, 61.28 billion US dollars, but is that really big or not? How big is that? For that, let us understand that we have to pay this much amount from what generally? From our foreign reserves, right? How much is our foreign reserves? Well, that amount is 573.9 US billion dollars as at July 2022. Now, if I were to calculate 10% of this amount, that will come to around 57.3 US billion dollars. So, you can understand import bill is 61 billion dollars and is cut 10%, more than 10% gone just to pay the import bill only of one sector and that is defense sector. Now, I hope you have understood the reason why Indian government is focusing on Atma Nirbhar Bharat for two key reasons. Number one, to increase the indigenous production in the defense sector and number two, become so much self-reliant and powerful in this space that we can even increase our exports. For that, government has taken countless steps, but let's focus on the top five steps that the government has taken. Well, to promote exports and to liberalize foreign investments, FDI in defense sector has been enhanced to up to 74% through an automatic route and up to 100% through government route. Now, just for your understanding, what is automatic route? It means that no prior approval of the government is required. But if I'm talking about the government route, obviously prior permission of the government is required. The second step that the government has taken is that they have announced two dedicated defense industrial corridors in the state states of Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh. The third one is that they are, they are introducing various schemes to enable innovation and the names of the schemes are something like IDEX which is Innovations for Defense Excellence and DTIS which is Defense Testing Infrastructure Scheme. In simple words, they are coming up with more and more schemes to enhance this sector. The fourth point is that they have notified three positive indigenous lists which comprises 310 defense equipments to be manufactured locally. Now, what is the logic behind this? Basically, they are promoting more and more companies to manufacture more and more defense related items indigenously, that is in India itself. And in August 2020, our defense minister, Mr. Rajnath Singh, announced ban on imports of 101 defense items. Now, why this might have been done? Obviously, if certain items are banned for, for imports, automatically our Indian companies would be more and more willing to manufacture these items. I hope you have understood about all these uh, schemes that government has come up with or all these steps that the government has come up with. But the big question is, is this really working? 
If you have a look at all these articles, you will be able to understand that India has recorded highest ever defense exports worth 13,000 crores in 2021-22 and the best part is that 70% of it has come from the private sector. I can see some confusion on your face right now. You might be like, the title was top 3 stocks. Then when we clicked the video, we found out Achha, it's top 3 stocks in the defense sector. Then you might be like, Rachna started with the entire discussion of the defense sector. She said that defense sector is at the cusp of revolution. But now, by now, you, I'm sure you have realized that what sort of revolution I was talking about. From 84% imports, we are now focusing on becoming Atmanirbhar in this sector and in fact we have recorded highest ever exports. Now we come to the point that which could be the top three stocks in this space. For that the very first stock that I have chosen is BEL. Now you might be thinking that why Rachna has chosen BEL for that have a look at this chart. You can see four key players in this space and which are HAL, BEL, BEML and BDL. Now, if you look at this entire table, this talks about value of production for the last six years. If you see the 2021 data for production, you can see that HAL is the highest at 22,700 crore or USD 3 billion. But then you might be like, Rachna, your ideal choice should have been HL. Why have you chosen BEL for the first company? For that, let me give you a reason of CAGR in the production. If you check the CAGR for BDL now, you can see that there has been a degrowth and that too at 14% CAGR degrowth. If you check it for BEML, the CAGR has been only at 5%. Well, if you check for HAL, it has grown at 6% CAGR, whereas BEL has grown at 12% CAGR. And that is the reason why I have chosen this as the number one stock. Well, if you are a little bit confused that is that the only reason why Rachna has chosen this stock as a number one stock in the defense sector? Answer is no. There are few more reasons. Well, BEL is a Navratna PSU company and it was, it was established in 1954 to meet specialized electronic equipment requirements of Indian defense services. You might be like, what is the specialized equipment, uh, specialized electronic equipments? For that, let's understand it in a very simple way. It means that it not only designs these various defense related equipments, it also develops them, it also manufactures them and it also supplies them. Now you might be like, are there any examples for that? For that, have a look at this chart. They received the largest export order worth USD 93.15 million from Airbus for the manufacture and supply of radar warning receiver and missile approach warning system. They also received the largest avionics order worth 2,400 crore rupees from HL for the manufacture and supply of 20 types of critical airborne electronic systems for the LCA Tejas fighter aircraft program. Also, they received orders from Ministry of Defense Government of India for Indian Air Force worth 1,109 crore for IEWR and 1,993 crores for EW for fighter aircrafts. Now you know why and how I chose defense sector for this video and especially this company. But then you might be like, what about US stocks? How do I understand the trends in the US stock markets? For that, you have moneycontrol.com. Here, they have introduced a new section where you can track all the action and get insights on the US stock markets. Here, you will get up-to-date information about buzzing sectors. Like here, you can see the top performing sectors in Dow Jones are materials and financials. You can also get a list of the market movers where you can see the top gainers and top losers for the day. So, if you click on your favorite stock, then you can get an access to a whole lot of information about the stock. Something like price movement you can also see the historical chart here uh, technical trends financial snapshots or something like sales EPS P ratio you can also have a look at this one where you can see peer analysis and news so if you want to analyze about US companies then money control can be your one-stop solution you can also get US market insights on the money control app so to know more check out the link in the description box below now let's try and understand what makes the company stand ahead as compared to its peers. For the financial year 2021-22, the company made a lot of capex investment to the tune of 465 crores. But this capex was done towards what? Towards modernization of plant and machinery, towards test instruments, R&D in investments, infrastructure upgradation and few other points. 
second important point is that whatever company uh, whatever is the sales revenue for the company out of that 78% of the sales revenue is from indigenous technology so basically as far as the technology is concerned they don't have to rely a lot on the imports third important point is that they have full scale operational overseas marketing offices where in vietnam sri lanka oman singapore and new york that talks about even the geographical presence that the company has and last important point is that export order book of 269 million us dollars and also they acquired new orders worth 179 million us dollars in the last year now if i were to dig down a little bit more deep into what into its order book let's have a look at these figures company currently has a strong order book of 56450 crores additional order inflow pipeline is of 20000 crores and management has also given a revenue guidance growth of 15% for the financial year 2023 Well, we have understood that okay, the order book is of fifty six thousand four fifty crores. But uh, is this amount really big or not? For that, let's have a look at their P and L. If we look at the sales TTM figure, that comes to sixteen thousand eight hundred and sixty crores. If I were to round it off to seventeen thousand crores, still three times of this figure comes to fifty one thousand crores. But how much was the order book for this company? That was fifty six thousand four fifty crores. with this you can easily understand that the company has more than 3 years of revenue visibility is that a comfortable position answer is obviously yes even if you look at all the important ttm figures something like sales or beat operating profit beat pat the ttm figures are at an all time high third thing if you have a look at the uh, sales growth from 2019 to 2022 that has grown at a cagr of 8.1% but if i were to compare it with the net profit that has grown from 1887 crore to 2400 crore at at a cagr of 8.3% all in all i can say that the profit growth is definitely a little bit better than the sales growth now that we have understood that the sales the ttm sales basically is at the highest point let's try and zoom in into the details of the sales breakup for that if you have a look at this chart you can come to know that almost 90% of the sale comes from the defense sector whereas barely 10% comes from non defense sector now you might be like what does the company sell as far as the sale to non defense sector is concerned well they make evm machines i'm sure everyone knows about evm when we use for uh, voting uh, company also makes uh, parts related to ev charging infrastructure related relating to solar cells power plants and also they take up smart city projects well currently the company's focus is increasing on non defense exports now you might be like why does the company want to increase why do they want to increase their focus on non defense category the reason is very simple profit margin in this space is definitely higher if i move on to the last part of the sales breakup important point is that currently the overall export breakup of the total sale is just 2% but the company targets to increase their exports sales breakup to 10 to 15% of their total revenue now if you have a look at these charts also now whether you try and analyze the compounded sales growth or the compounded profit growth or stock price cagr or return on equity you will come to see that overall CAGR in all these parameters is above average. The company is also focusing on cost control measures because they want to improve the profitability and also that can be seen with the fact that their profitability CAGR is a shade higher than their sales CAGR. Also whatever working capital requirement is needed they are planning to fulfill it through the internal accruals now how can we see that for that have a look at this balance sheet figure and you can see that the reserves are continuously increasing over the period of years and right now the reserve stand at almost 12042 crores which is a very decent enough number also even if you have a look at the borrowings borrowings is pretty small i agree that the borrowings have spiked up a little bit in march 22 but still they are not that high even if you have a look at cwip currently you can see that their cwip has jumped from 883 crores in march 2021 to 1006 crores in march 2022 if you remember we had discussed this point that the company is definitely focusing more on increasing their spends on capital expenditure and this can be seen with the fact that their figure of cwip is increasing even if you have a look at the cash flows of the company you can see that the operating cash flows of the company which were in negative until few years back has now turned to be positive it's a shade lower than 21 but still it's not that bad going ahead with the shareholding pattern you can see that fii shareholding has been increasing and in the latest september quarter you can see that it has gone up to 17.72% which is at a highest point 
well i hope through this video you have understood that yes defense is a sector which is definitely an important one to watch out for you understood so many points about how we are improving on that through the atmanirbhar bharat scheme as well we are increasing on the exports we are trying to control the imports we also talked about bel being one of the promising companies in this sector and that's it from my side for the day and you might be like what about other two stocks the title of the video was like top 3 stocks in the defense sector we have covered only one but if you want to know about the second stock it's paras defense and for that you can click here if you want to know about the third stock that is mtar you can click here till then take care jai hind and bye bye